Hi, so I want to try making a little animation using only paper. Not like a flip book like I did in the past. I don't know much about animation. I'm not an animator. I have interest. I wanted to do it for a little while, but um, it didn't really work out. There are, few, there, there are a couple small tiny little animation videos on my channel that I've made using Krita, but that didn't really go anywhere. So I would like to give it another shot, but this time I just want to try and make it. It's basically like a pencil test, and maybe, maybe we'll get some cool out of it. So we'll see. Voice over Moosh here. So I've started with mapping out a little keyframe so the movement that I want to animate and it's a very quick movement it's pretty simple it's a lady just sitting down and then getting up that's all that's it keeping it simple and then I started drawing them out on bigger pieces of paper with the same pencil just trying to keep it as close to the original keyframes that I thought of and I created this little workspace on my desk for this little project. Uh, you will see this little strips of tapes. I layered up several pieces of tape on the sides and on the top. And on the bottom I have this little bracket that lifts up from my desk so it doesn't slide around. Uh, that was important for me to not to shift the position of the paper in any way. Otherwise it would just jump around on the page. So I did that. Um, and I've lost some footage of me doing the in-between frames but I basically just had two of my frames the previous one and the next one in front of me and I just drew in uh, the movement that would be in between the frames like around probably like the midpoint and I only did one in between frame between every keyframe because it's such short movement I probably could do more but I didn't uh, probably because I'm lazy but um, the, the in-between frames are important for more fluid and smooth movement, so I went with some key, with some between frames. Uh, after that, I did a little testing, did a little cleaning up, and yeah, and it turned out, I think it turned out pretty okay. Then I just popped the pictures in my editing software and just tried to shorten them up and see how it goes. The one thing that I was really worried about while doing it is staying on model. I have a lot of trouble staying on model. I have a lot of trouble making the character, when I draw them in different positions, make them look the same as the, as the other pictures because the, proportion, the proportions really easily get askewed with me uh, when you change the angle. When I change the position, it's something always changes a little bit, so that was a really good exercise still in a model, at least with the proportion. It's very important to keep the volume of your figure, from what I understand, because if you don't keep the volume, then the, ma the, the animation is going to be very jaggedy and it's going to shrink a lot and then it's going to expand. And um, That's why I read that it's important when you do like onion skinning when you like put the sheets on top of each other or create different layers in your animation software it's very important to not to just trace them because when you trace you usually trace on the outside of the previous figure uh, and with time it just gets bigger and bigger that's that's what was my problem when i was doing those little short create animations because the, the size would fluctuate a lot so I tried to be mindful about that but yeah I think it was a fun little project it didn't take me too too long it took me a few hours but that's only because it's six keyframes and five in between frames so that was that was that, that was pretty short that was that was short and sweet and I liked it uh, I thought it was fun because that's not something I do usually and I know that animation is a grueling, tedious work, but at the end it's so rewarding I think when you see everything just come together and form something cohesive and nice. 
so I thought it was fun. Um, I think in the future I will probably add onto this particular animation a little bit, maybe um, I'll probably incorporate a walk cycle in there, like because she gets up from the chair and then maybe have her walk away or walk towards you or something. Um, I think I'm gonna add up onto it. And I know it's not a meaningful animation in any way, it's not... Um, it doesn't tell any story or anything, it's not particularly artistic, but it, it was a fun test of my skills, I guess, and a fun exercise. So, yeah, I liked it, I hope you liked it too, and I'm gonna see you next time, thank you for watching, bye!